In this episode, we visit the Coconut Company, a UK-based business where coconut water and oil, along with vinegar, amino and milk, just don't mix. Hi, I'm James Anderson and I work for the Coconut Company. The Coconut Company differs from other brands out there because we actually specialise on food products. Unlike our competition, uh, we, we don't deal with the coconut water whatsoever. Um, our, our, our specialities are coconut vinegar, very new to the European market, been used in the Philippines for, for, for a millennia. Um, we've got your coconut aminos, made from the coconut sap, which is uh, uh, packed full of nutrients and good vitamins. We uh, do the coconut nectar, which is also derived from the sap, so the, the sap has been dehydrated. And we make the coconut sugar, which is uh, the nectar which has been dehydrated even further. Uh, derived from uh, coconut sap, from the blossom of the coconut palm. The sap is uh, collected from, from the blossom and then dehydrated over low heat. Uh, initially, you'll get a coconut nectar, and if you don't dehydrate that longer, you, you end up with coconut sugar. It's a very low GI content of 35, less than half of what your refined sugars are. Coconut flour, which is a, a very uh, on-trend product for 2016, which is uh, gluten-free, high in a fiber content, and fairly low in fat, uh, high in protein, uh, a great replacement for uh, celiacs, because it's quite, um, quite, quite a needy product. So if, if you aren't a gluten sufferer, I'd mix it with ordinary flour too, but it's a, it's a, it's a great substitute for regular flour. It's gluten-free, uh, high in protein and high in uh, fiber content. We also have uh, uh, a couple of coconut oils, our cold-pressed virgin coconut oil, and the organic premium oil. This one's odorless. This one is uh, tasty, taste, tasting of coconut. Um, I think everyone knows about coconut oil now. We all know that uh, it can be used in our hair, our skin, as well as uh, in the kitchen for cooking. So it's, a, it's an all-round uh, good fat. And fat is back, as we know. Uh, it's not just uh, foodies and, and food trend people telling us now. It's even, even the medical fraternity telling us that, that fat is back. And this is the good fat. So we have uh, jumped, so to speak, on the bandwagon. And we do have uh, coconut oil. We do believe this is uh, some of the best coconut oil out there. It's from Philippines again, as uh, all our products are. Um, we feel that we have, uh, we have a, a great product for you all to try. We've got it on a big and a small jar. Uh, this is the 475, and the other one's going to be the 230 ml jar. The slight, slightly smaller jar going to be on our web store and in, in shops soon. Vegan coconut milk powder, absolutely uh, a vegetarian, no animal products whatsoever. It's uh, one of the very few in the market. For me, uh, I like to use this in my uh, green curries. The best thing about it is I can open the package, take a couple of scoops out, put it in the green curry, seal the package back up and put it back on the shelf. It's got a long shelf life and uh, I don't end up throwing any coconut milk away. It's really good in uh, chocolate making and confectionery. And lately I've been putting it in my, my oats for breakfast, makes a really creamy oats porridge. But, um, or, or people are keen to explore the avenue of fermented food as being really good and healthy for you. And traditionally people have used this in the past in the Philippines, for example, as, as a tonic for, for stomach health. A little bit like people use the apple cider vinegar. But if you look at the nutrient table, far, 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 far stronger uh, table with the, the, the coconut vinegar. So we do have a range. So we've got the mother, which is certainly the healthiest and most nutritious vinegar. Um, we have the classic, which is, again, the same, same vinegar, just doesn't have the mother enzyme in it, but it's still naturally fermented and 100% uh, good for you. Uh, my personal favorite is the chili and ginger. If you like spicy salads, this certainly is a winner. Really, really is delicious. A little bit of extra organic chili and ginger which have been added to the recipe. But slightly more decadent inside, we've got the balsamic vinegar. This has been fermented in the same, same manner as the other ones. Then we've added coconut nectar to it and aged it for another eight months. So it really is a beautifully, beautiful tasting vinegar. It's on a similar lines to your balsamico, but a whole lot healthier. So slightly lower sugar content. Um, we also have uh, a pure nectar straight mix, which is uh, similar to balsamic, but it's uh, not been aged as long. Lovely on salads and dressings. Um, and another favorite for, for cooking, 
we have uh, the garlic. Garlic's great in soups and stews and really is good for cooking. It's also good on fish and chips, actually. In the aminos, uh, we have the, the, the classic amino. Just re-changed the, the, the label recently. So the classic aminos uh, for soy, uh, people who want to get away from soy, this is a great uh, alternative to, to soy sauce. Uh, packed with really good aminos and uh, gluten-free. Then we have two new variations that we're just bringing out now. We have the teriyaki, again gluten-free and just in time for, for spring, I know we're a bit early for it, but just in time for spring, the barbecue, which is uh, going to be a, a, Hopefully a winner around, 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 around the fire this summer. Okay. We definitely are focusing more on the food trends. The culinary angle of coconut cert certainly excites all of us at the Coconut Company. Uh, it's about healthy living. Um, and, and bringing fresh taste, different taste, uh, an alternative twist to, to, to old classics and uh, introducing coconut to, to, to more, more palates and, and more people and, and introducing people to a healthier way of looking at food uh, is what we're all about. We, we do have a really exciting product coming up uh, shortly which we believe will slot into uh, the healthy food industry vegetarian athletes, uh, a coconut protein, which uh, we've called Procotein. It's, it's very new in the market uh, and will be pegged around the 45% um, percentage uh, protein mark. Um, it's, it's, it's an all-round protein, will we'll, we'll be great for, for cooking. Uh, if you're a vegetarian or vegan or just feel like you're lacking a bit of protein, you need that pep in your, in your meal, you'll be able to sprinkle some on your breakfast or breakfast cereals or say a, a little spoonful into your soup. It's, it's certainly going to be a mega product. Watch the space. The coconut is such a, uh, an incredible plant, uh, fruit, droop, um, that it would be silly not to look at every angle and perspective of what the, the, the actual plant can produce for us. So looking further down the line, uh, discovered that they, these amazing vinegars uh, and aminos from, from, from the same manufacturer in, in the Philippines that we, that we get the product. Um, as well as the fact that uh, it's a great gluten-free alternative to so celiac sufferers. And uh, we just really like uh, the fermented products and um, like the idea of uh, the, 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 the tasty side of, of, of coconuts being produced from the sap opposed to actually the fruit, so the water and the meat. This is being produced from, from, from the plant uh, itself and actually doesn't even taste of coconut, but it has all the incredible nutrients that the, the, the coconut uh, provides. Find us at www.thecoconutcompany.co